Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 486. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 484 to 489. Hey, in this trick right here, we have some formula inputs and then a formula F2. Put it in edit mode, and there it is. It's a beautiful calculating formula. But when we clear the template, we do not want to see that divide by zero error. Control Z. I'm going to show you three different formulas, three different ways. The first way is we want only the formula to show when all three have data in them. So I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. I'm going to use the OR function. I want to say if this one is blank or this one is blank or this one is blank. OR means if any one of those are true, then OR delivers a true. So even if I have something here and here, the OR will see a blank here if there's nothing there, and it will deliver true, and we will put a blank in this uh, formula. Otherwise, when they're all filled in, we'll let the formula calculate. So we're going to use the IF, and then IF expects a logical test. And since we're doing an OR, if any of those are blank, we need to use the OR function. So OR, and then you can have a, a lot of arguments. I forget how many, to way above 250 or something like that. Um, so we need logical tests. And what are our logical tests? We want to say, is that blank, or is that blank, or is that blank? So I'm going to click on this cell, and then type equals is that cell equal to what? Well, blank is double quote, double quote, right? Comma. Now, comma says, oh, we're now to the next logical test. So now I click there, and I say, is that equal to double quote, double quote, comma? Finally, is that one equal to double quote, double quote? No comma. Close parentheses on the end of the or. The or. All the purpose of the OR is to deliver a true or false to the logical test. So if any one of these are blank, then boom. OR will say, hey, give me a true here. Well, what do we want? If it's true, I'm going to type a comma, the value of true. We want to see a blank. So we say double quote. Otherwise, if they're all filled in, then the value of false, we're just going to use that um, little bit of our formula right there. Come to the end, close parentheses, control enter. Now let's test it. Now I'm going to type 2,000, 1,000, 10. And sure enough, it calculates, or 100. Now that involves all three, maybe. Uh, we could do uh, something slightly different. Now this is going to be an array formula. Actually, we're going to do the same logic. All of them have to be filled out before we uh, show our formula. Watch this. I'm going to put this into edit mode and then copy it. Copy. Because uh, I want to place it in this next cell. But if I copied it over, though, those would be relative cell references. So now I'm going to click here, F2 and control V. Now instead of going through uh, the hassle of saying this one, this one, this one, watch this. We can highlight inside of the OR and simply highlight all three of these cells, right? If any of those, and then type equals blank. Now, this is uh, an array inside of this. Um, in the OR can handle an array like this in some situations. But since the OR is inside of the IF, it d has no idea what to do with this range, or in this case, it's uh, the, the if logical test is ex expecting a single cell, and we gave it three, so it doesn't know what to do. If you hit Enter, it says value error. But this is an array form that you can tell Excel to go ahead and calculate it. It's OK if there's an array inside of the if, but you got to use the secret keyboard shortcut, Control Shift and Enter. So then we could copy our formatting Boop, like that. And so now that works. Now notice something about this array formula, curly brackets right there. Those get put in automatically when you Control Shift Enter. So that's another way to do it. And you can test it, right? Now still another way, what if you didn't mind if people um, uh, it started to calculate as long as this cell had something, because this is the cell that's causing the uh, divide by zero error. That cell right there, when it's blank, it's seen it as a zero, and so it's divided by zero. So if you only wanted to check for this cell, the formula would be a little bit easier. We'd say equals if, 
and we'd say simply is that equal equal to double quote which is blank if that's true then double quote otherwise go ahead and do our formula this minus this close parentheses divided by that all right and so that does something slightly different if I copy my formatting right there that's copying just formatting now if I do this if I type this one in first Right, this one comes up, but these one don't. These ones do not show the formula because we have to, for those ones, enter everything. All right, but you can see that one avoided the divide by zero error. All right, uh, a little bit about divide by zero error. Um, uh, actually, there's one other formula you could do. Uh, I hadn't planned to do this, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. This is only if you have 2007 or 10. You say uh, equals if error, if error. And the thing we're doing is open parentheses, this minus this, close parentheses, divide by this. That's the, the value. And the if error is great because it just says, hey, if this happens to come out to be an error, what do you want me to put in the cell? Double quote. So that one is 2007, 2010. Totally awesome improvement, especially on bigger formulas that involve getting rid of errors. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.